Hello everyone, I am Tanvi Kaur and I welcome you to this series called RBI 247. In this very series, we pick up some important financial topics and we try and discuss them with the help of different questions. So before moving on to question number one, if you are there for the very first time, you can subscribe to our channel and press this bell icon so that whenever a new video that can be helpful for you comes up, you can be notified about the same. You can also join our telegram group. The link is in the description below. If you want the free PDFs of these sessions, then you can get the access to those PDFs through this very group only. Now, let's not waste any time and move on to question number one. It says, which of the following bank has launched its new mobile banking application, revamping its existing mobile banking application, M Connect Plus, to offer a wide gamut of banking products and services to be rolled out in phases under four key pillars. And those four key pillars are save, invest, borrow and shop. So they are talking about a bank and that bank has revamped its existing mobile ba banking application. Its existing mobile banking application was M Connect Plus. Now it has come up with a new revamped application where it will be providing a wide variety of banking products and services. And those products and services will be offered under four key pillars which are saving, investing, borrowing and shopping. So using that very app, you will get access to various options to save, to invest, to borrow and to shop. So which bank are they talking about? Which bank has launched this new banking application the answer to this question is option b bank of baroda so let us have a brief um, knowledge about this very latest news piece so bank of baroda has launched its revamped mobile application what is the name of that very application bob world bob stands for the bank of baroda and then there is a word called World. So, Bob World is the revamped mobile application of Bank of Baroda. Existing application was M Connect Plus. So, when it already had a mobile application, why did it come up with this new application? Because it wanted to offer a wide variety of services all under same umbrella. Under uh, same application, it is now offering around 220 services to its customers under different heads, under four major pillars. So it will give you the options to save various savings account options will be there. It will also provide you with the options to invest that where all you can invest your money which you have. It will also allow you to borrow taking different types of loans for different categories different sectors and then it will also offer you the option to shop where you can use the bank of Baroda products and services to make payments on different platforms so these are four major pillars of this very new revamped app so over 220 services will be converged into this very single app which can be accessed by the customers be the customers located domestically or globally okay so having a look at few services which will be available so it will offer you digital account opening within a span of say 10 minutes you can open your account you can get instant instant virtual debit card will be issued to you then using that platform you can online apply for the loans you will get the instant disposal of the loans okay then it will offer full application full service application of digital products and services associated with account management lending payment and settlement financial planning investments trade services capital market services so a lot many services around 220 services will be converged into this very bob world app okay with the launch of bob world application all their valued customers who were already there on, on m connect plus will be migrated to this new platform and that existing platform will be sunset moving ahead now why this uh, of this very uh, new application has been launched because bank wants to provide a in all inclusive and seamless virtual banking experience to provide the convenience to the customers customers ko sari services a key platform mein mil jaye okay so there is a need to have an inclusive app which will offer seamless virtual banking experience which will basically offer the convenience for the customers and obviously it will help uh, the bank as well okay so this was the first question and the topic which i wanted to discuss moving on to next topic now the second question says paytm money the wealth management division of digital payments major paytm is creating a wealth and investment advisory marketplace what is it creating a wealth and investment advisory marketplace on its platform 
to offer curated advisory services and products to the retail investors so paytm money has partnered with a startup with an investment startup to offer investment portfolios called dash so this very platform is going to offer investment portfolio what is the name given to do that very investment portfolio so let's discuss this piece of news and then we'll come back to the question okay so paytm money is basically the uh, division of paytm which deals in wealth management it will help you decide where you should invest and how you should invest all those investment related things okay you can go for mutual funds and different options available so paytm money is that very division of paytm and now it is focusing on um, basically improving on this very platform creating a better wealth and investment advisory marketplace so for doing so it has collaborated it has partnered with a investment startup named wealth desk so in collaboration with this wealth desk it is going to offer investment portfolio using which the investors can the people can invest in different products and services okay so the uh, investment portfolio where they, wherein people can invest is called the wealth basket so wealth basket kya hai wealth basket a customized पोर्टफोलियो है जिसमें अलग अलग स्टॉक्स होंगे अलग अलग एक्सचेंज ट्रेडेड फंड्स होंगे और ये जो पोर्टफोलियो ऑफ स्टॉक्स है ये सभी रजिस्टर्ड इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रोफेशनल्स के थ्रू बनाया गया है कि किस इन्वेस्टर को कहाँ कैसे इन्वेस्ट करना चाहिए एंड अकॉर्डिंगली आप उन प्लेटफॉर्म्स में एडवाइस लेके इन्वेस्ट कर सकते हो ओके सो वेल्थ बास्केट इज बेसिकली अ पोर्टफोलियो अ कस्टम पोर्टफोलियो विच विल हैव डिफरेंट स्टॉक्स डिफरेंट एक्सचेंज ट्रेडेड फंड एंड दैट पोर्टफोलियो इज क्रिएटेड बाई proper investment professionals who are registered with the sebi okay so the name given to that portfolio is wealth basket these portfolios are created around certain themes and users can uh, relate to that theme suppose you want to invest in some sector say you want to promote the indian manufacturing sector so there is a theme based wealth basket created with the name make in india it will have all those stocks which are going to benefit the companies who are manufacturing in india so you can invest in those that those very stocks similarly we have different portfolios created based on different themes and the investors can choose to invest wherever they want so investors who believe in long term prospects to promote manufacturing in india can invest in make in india wealth basket including stocks placed to benefit this theme okay so paytm money users can invest in multiple wealth baskets we, you, they might get a free startup pack to invest or they may subscribe with the monthly packs and use that money to basically invest in these wealth baskets all right so now why uh, paytm has come up with this very thing because it wants to build its advisory marketplace it wa wants more expansion in that very area and it wants to offer a one stop shop to cater to the unique needs of the audience okay with this the paytm money offers retail investors an opportunity to invest in ideas in themes or trading strategies they believe in with low cost wealth creation strategies and it will remove the unnecessary risk to so low cost pe aap easily invest kar sakte ho in different theme based portfolios mein and with the launch of this advisory marketplace paytm money is expected to target the young and millennial investors who account for more than 70% of the user base at present so at present the young people are investing a lot so paytm wants to in cash that opportunity and capture that very young millennial market so that's why it is expanding on this area now if i come back to the question we already answered the investment portfolio called is wealth basket okay now moving on to last question which says a derivative is a financial instrument which derives its value from an underlying asset which of the following is correctly related to futures derivative so let's first discuss what are derivatives then we will discuss what are forwards because in order to better understand futures you must be clear with the difference between forwards and futures both of these are types of derivatives only so let's have a brief introduction about derivatives and then we'll come back to the question often while i was taking the interviews for the people uh, who are who want to go for uh, rbi so during the mock interviews i realized that this is a very simple topic but many of the students who many of the candidates were confused and not able to clearly answer the difference between a forward or a future they were not clear with what are derivatives so it's a very really very basic concept and you should be clear about it so if i talk about a derivative 
derivative as the name suggests deriving its value from something else okay it's a derivative so you can uh, understand it as a financial instrument which derives its value from some underlying asset so is contract mein kuch assets honge jiske through is derivative ki ye jo financial instrument hai iski value determine hogi so what is it it's a financial instrument deriving value from that underlying asset so if there is no underlying asset then the value of derivative is nothing okay so underlying asset can be a commodity a currency interest rate precious stones bonds stocks and all so if i talk about different examples forwards futures options swaps these are all derivatives the thing will be more clear when i explain you with an example what is a forward okay so basically a kind of a contract will be there where you might agree to buy or sell something at a pre decided price on some future date okay and Uh, such kinds of contracts might be traded on the exchange or they might be traded over the counter those are derivatives you basically go for these derivatives because you want to reduce the risk okay let's see how it functions okay now if i talk about forwards forward is basically a derivative contract a customizable derivative contract to buy or sell an asset at a specified price on a future date आप आज ही एक कॉन्ट्रैक्ट में एंटर uh, करते हो कि मैं फ्यूचर में इस चीज़ को इतने प्राइस पे खरीदूंगा या बेचूंगा तो उस टाइप ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट को हम फॉरवर्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कहते हैं आज आप अग्री कर रहे हो आज आप प्राइस डिसाइड कर रहे हो आज ही आप डेट डिसाइड कर रहे हो जब आप किसी असेट को सेल करोगे या बाय करोगे लेकिन वो जो बाइंग एंड सेलिंग होगी वो किसी फ्यूचर डेट पर होगी सो इस काइंड ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट को हम फॉरवर्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कहते हैं ये जो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट है ये दे कैन बी टेलर टू अ स्पेसिफिक कमोडिटी अमाउंट एंड डिलीवरी डेट सो इट्स कस्टमाइजेबल एक स्पेसिफिक कमोडिटी होगी एक प्राइस डिसाइड होगा एक डिलीवरी डेट होगी ये आप अपने हिसाब से टेलर कर सकते हो दैट्स वाई इट्स अ कस्टमाइजेबल डेरिवेटिव कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इट इज नॉट ट्रेडेड ऑन दी एक्सचेंज ऑन अ सेंट्रलाइज एक्सचेंज रादर ट्रेडेड ऑन ओवर दी काउंट रादर इट्स अ ओवर द काउंटर ट्रेडेड इंस्ट्रूमेंट सो इफ आई टॉक अबाउट एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ फॉरवर्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट different producers agricult ones who are using the agricultural products usually hedge against a change in the price of underlying asset so that protection can be taken using a forward contract so suppose ek farmer hai usko lagta hai ki aaj wheat ka price 40 rupees per kg hai future mein jaake unko lag raha hai ki uh, situation achhi nahi hogi aur price kam ho ke 35 per kg ho sakta hai तो अगर 35 पर के पे वो सेल करेगा फार्मर तो उसको नुकसान होगा उसको लॉस होगा तो क्या कर सकता है वो आज ही फॉरवर्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट में एंटर कर सकता है किसी कस्टमर के साथ कि वो पाँच किलो वीट तीन महीने के बाद फोर्टी रुपीज पर के पे उस कस्टमर को सेल करेगा तो जब तीन महीने पूरे हो जाएंगे तो कस्टमर फाइव के जी वीट दे देगा कस्टमर को जो फार्मर है वो फाइव के जी वीट दे देगा कस्टमर को और कस्टमर जो है उस पांच किलो का फोर्टी रुपीज पर के जी के हिसाब से पैसे फार्मर को दे देगा अब कस्टमर ऐसे कॉन्ट्रैक्ट में क्यों एंटर करेगा जैसे फार्मर को लग रहा था कि फ्यूचर में प्राइस बढ़ सकता प्राइस कम हो सकता है ऐसे ही कस्टमर को लग रहा होगा कि फ्यूचर में प्राइस बढ़ सकता है इसीलिए वो अग्री करेगा कि आज ही मैं डिसाइड कर लूँ कि फ्यूचर में मेरे को जरूरत तो पड़नी ही है वीट की तो मैं इतने रेट पे खरीदूंगा सो so, ऐसे ही जब दो अलग अलग टाइप की पार्टीज होती हैं जिन्हें बेसिकली अपोजिट एक्सपेक्टेशन होती हैं तो वो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट में एंटर करते हैं इन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स को हम फॉरवर्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कहते हैं आई एक्सप्लेन द थिंग इन इंग्लिश एज वेल सपोज देर इज अ फार्मर हु इज एक्सपेक्टिंग अ प्राइस फॉल इन द वीट एंड देन देर इज अ कस्टमर हु इज एक्सपेक्टिंग द अपोजिट दैट द प्राइस माइट इंक्रीज फ्रॉम फोर्टी टू से फोर्टी फाइव सो बोथ माइट एंटर इन टू अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दैट आफ्टर थ्री मंथस द फार्मर विल सेल एंड द कस्टमर विल बाय दैट वेरी वीट एट सर्टन रेट सपोज हेयर दे हैव अग्रीड दैट फोर्टी पर के जी विल बी द रेट at which 5 kg of wheat will be bought and sold after 3 months so when the 3 months will be over whatever is the price the farmer will sell the wheat at 40 rupees per kg to the customer and customer will pay the same to the farmer now it might happen that the farmer's expectation comes to be true and the price falls from 40 to 35 okay so in this very case now the customer now the farmer will be at a profitable situation because the price is 35 but he is selling at 40 but the customer will be at loss because now the wheat is available as at 35 but because he has entered into a contract to buy it at 40 he has to buy it. so this is a forward contract now coming to the next type of derivative that is futures 
futures are quite similar to the, uh, that of forwards they are also the contract to buy or sell a specified asset at a specified uh, price on some future date but the difference is that these are uh, standardized they are not customized like forwards and they are uh, traded on the stock exchanges rather than in the over the counter market okay for example there is a futures contract say 6000 per barrel is the rate of crude oil okay and it uh, there is a futures contract available for 3 months and you believe that in future this price might increase from 6000 to say 7000 so you will enter into a contract today that i will buy this much of a crude after 3 months at an agreed price of 6000 now if in future the price actually rises your expectation comes to be true and the price rises to 7000 that means you will benefit because now you because you have already entered into a contract to buy it at 6000 you can buy it at 6000 and because the prevailing price in market is 7000 you can sell it at 7000 and you will get 1000 rupee profit So this is why people go for futures and forwards. So if I talk about the basic differences, forward is traded over the counter, futures is exchange traded. Forwards are customized whereas futures are standardized, properly traded on exchanges thus having more liquidity. So forwards have less liquidity. Moreover the credit default risk is really very really high in case of forwards okay one of the parties may default if the contract turns unfavorable but if i talk about futures there is credit guarantee there is stock exchange involved okay because they are traded on a stock exchange credit guarantee is there that's why people might prefer to go for futures as well so this is the basic difference between forwards and futures then we have other derivatives also like we have options with where there is no obligation to buy or sell a set at a particular price on a future date but you have a right that you can do so so th- this was about the forwards and futures moving back to our question we had to identify these statements correctly related to futures so first is correct that it's a derivative contract between two parties to buy a set at a set at a specified price on future date third is correct that it's a standardized contract second is incorrect that it's traded over the counter no but on a stock exchange so first and third statement are correct answer is option b this was all for today's session i hope the session was useful for you with this i would like to end up the session thank you so much